One of the great new features in AutoCAD Civil 3D 2017 is the ability to create a data shortcut to the design corridor. With the Data Shortcuts option, you can see the usual surfaces, alignments, and pipe networks. We also see the option to shortcut the corridor. This allows you to see the corridor appear in the Data Shortcuts tree view in Prospector. In a production environment, selecting the data shortcut enables you to quickly create a reference to the live dynamic corridor in your design drawing that includes all of the alignments and profiles used as baselines in that corridor. Now, sample lines can be created as you normally would to create cross sections. But with baseline alignments also referenced, those can be used to create the sample lines. This process can be performed on any project. Sample by a range of stations, left and right, with swath widths. In moments, the sample lines are created in the current cross sections drawing. Creating multiple section views for the sample lines that you just created can be quickly accomplished using the wizard. Using AutoCAD Civil 3D 2017, you can easily create a shortcut to your design corridor and quickly create the multiple sections views to your design. AutoCAD Civil 3D 2017 also improves your ability to generate a material volume report for our shortcutted corridor. You can quickly get a view of the codes and the subassemblies used in your corridor design. Pavements, concrete, and granulars clearly shown in the code section of our corridor. Then you can easily create a material list where you can add our pavement, granulars, and concrete categories and group your subassembly structures into the appropriate categories, such as a pavement category. With your material list complete, within minutes, you can execute a volume analysis to generate tables and reports that shows the volumes for each material.